For more on the impact of China's currency move on Indonesian exports, I'm now joined on the line from Jakarta by Mari Pangestu, Indonesia's trade minister. Ibu Mari, good to have you with us this morning. Now, Thailand and the Philippines welcome greater yuan flexibility, while Korea says its economy may be hurt. What's Indonesia's stand on this? Uh, we, we welcome uh, positively uh, this move by China to uh, make their exchange rate more flexible. Uh, I think it has been a lot, uh, we, uh, many countries have been uh, waiting for this uh, move and because it will mean uh, increasing purchasing power in the, in the Chinese uh, consumer market, which will ha help our exports and it will also rebalance, uh, I think, the, the imbalances uh, that, that exist now. Uh, so we, we do think that this will overall uh, for Indonesia uh, as well as many other countries in the region, uh, rebalance uh, the uh, trade picture uh, so that we can uh, pr uh, hopefully uh, improve our export performance. Uh, can you quantify the impact, given that you've just said that it will improve the competitiveness of Indonesia's exports to China? Well, I think it's, it's hard to quantify because we, we are still uh, waiting to see how you know, this will take time. It's not something we can measure in a few days. Uh, the, the yuan will go up and down uh, because it is now floating within a band. But if you reflect before 2008, uh, they actually, I think, uh, appreciated 5 or 6 percent, but over a period of time. So the adjustment will take time. But I think what's important is uh, it's, it's sort of not just the actual amount, but the fact that uh, investors, buyers uh, look at it as this is the, the adjustments that will come uh, uh, for China uh, in the medium term. It's both the exchange rate as well as other, other things that are happening uh, in China, including uh, increased wages uh, and the restructuring uh, of, of the structure of their uh, production. Uh, and this will, as you, as you know, uh, there has been some relocation to Vietnam and Indonesia. So there's a, a sort of a restructuring uh, going on. Uh, and, you know, uh, one more thing I would say is that between uh, the beginning of 2009 to now, the rupiah appreciated around 17 uh, percent, and uh, and this will mean that once uh, there is appreciation by the yuan, then there's more of a of a rebalancing. Apart from what you said, do you see greater intra-ASEAN trade as a result of a stronger yuan? What's the sense you're getting from your counterparts in the region? Well, I think uh, I think the. It, uh, the, the actual, again, once again, it's not so much the quantitative amount uh, of the whatever appreciation is going to happen. It's, it's more uh, the, the positive perception that, that there will be more of a rebalancing uh, going on. Uh, I think intra-ASEAN as well as intra-East Asia uh, trade uh, will continue to increase just as it has increased in the last five years uh, because just because of the growth. Uh, in the region. Uh, it's no longer about a production network where we're uh, sort of sharing in, uh, our resources and components and then exporting out uh, to the U.S., to Europe. There's more uh, intra-East Asia trade going on uh, for our, each other's markets. Uh, and I think the uh, yuan appreciation helps, uh, helps in that respect also. And we, we, we know that China is going in the direction of uh, reducing uh, source of growth from exports uh, to domestic consumption uh, and appreciation of the yuan helps that. So uh, I think uh, overall we, we would uh, expect to have increased intra-East Asia trade as well as intra-ASEAN trade. Uh, Ibu Mari, I want to get your views on what's happened uh, in Australia with the recognition of uh, Kevin Rudd as Prime Minister. What do you think that will mean for the fight and the campaign for a global climate change? Well, I think it's it's uh, not really too much related to uh, what's happening in Australia. I think the fight for uh, global climate change is <clears throat> it's still about the issues which are on the table uh, uh, regarding uh, commitments uh, to uh, quantitative reductions uh, by uh, developed countries as well as <clears throat> what developing countries want, uh, which is the commitments as well as if the, if we are being asked also to. Uh, endorse some commitments, then there has to be uh, facilitation and funding uh, available out there and, and sufficient time uh, for us to make uh, the adjustments. Do you think there's a lesson to be learned from uh, Kevin Rudd's experience, given that uh, Indonesia is rich in minerals, uh, it could face a similar situation? 
I think it's more how you undertake such a policy. Uh, we, we must make sure that uh, we, we believe, that, and we have been uh, trying to implement this uh, on the ground. How do you uh, have a strategy which is pro-green, pro-growth, and pro-poor? Uh, that's basically in summary. So, uh, for instance, as you know, we have uh, announced a policy of moratorium uh, on uh, plantation, uh, new plantation uh, licenses uh, on, in peatland uh, and, and, and primary forest area. Uh, so at the same time, uh, we recognize that we, we must also have growth. So which type of land would you put your plantation? Uh, it's in the degraded land, right? And at the same time, we do reforestation. Uh, so I think, I think it's possible to do it if you mm -hmm. have this frame of mind uh, and uh, you must have a lot of discussion with your stakeholders to make sure uh, that right. everybody's on board. Palm oil, Ibu, since we're on the uh, topic of commodities, prices have been falling. What's your take on that? Are prices well supported at this point in time? I think uh, it, it's, it, commodity prices will continue to go up and down, uh, but I think in general it will still be relatively stable for the next uh, one or two years, uh, riding on the strong demand that still continues to come from uh, China and India. Uh, but we will hopefully not see the, the sharp rise that we experienced in 2008 uh, because I think in terms of both the production side as well as the demand side, uh, we don't see uh, much uh, excess, uh, excessive increases or, or declines. Indonesia's Trade Minister Mari Pangestu on the line from Jakarta.